Welcome back to the InfraVision YouTube channel. This is the overview of the For Me development update for week 47. We have six updates to cover this week, so let's get started. The first update concerns the For Me Connect module. Now, up until now, this module was only available in your QA environment if you specifically requested For Me to make it available. So the update for this week is that it is now available in all QA environments. So to quickly refresh your memory, when you click this phone icon, you start the For Me Connect module. You can select any person that is available and then start a video call from here. Up until now, you can only do one-to-one -one calls, so you cannot add additional participants yet. That will likely be added in the future. You can chat with that person, share your screen, and either add or remove video from the conference. And when you are being called from within Fumi Connect, you will see these icons in the top bar of your Fumi window, and you can either accept or decline the video call. The second update for this week is that you can now set yourself away like this. And when you do that, your presence indicator will change into black, which indicates that you are either away or you do not want to be disturbed. And during this time, notifications and for me connect calls are being suppressed. And you can set yourself as not being away again, doing the same thing. So click on the icon and now your presence indicator is turned back into green. The next update a new menu entry was added to the self-service hamburger menu. It is called My Projects and it shows all the projects in which at least one task has been assigned to you. So in this case, I have an approval task in this project and therefore the project itself is listed in this list. I can click on the project and then view the details exactly the same as we uh, demoed last week uh, when the functionality was added to click on the project from the approval task itself. The next update is a new filter option for views and reports related to changes. You can now filter those items on requester organization. So conditions for this filter are of course that the change was created from a request because the organization of the requester is taken for the possible filter values. And a similar type of filter was added for all reports that are related to SLAs. You can now filter those reports based on business unit. And for all these reports, the business unit is taken from the organization of the requester of all the requests that make up these reports. And the last update for this week is a more technical one. So if you use integrations via the settings console and then applications, you can use the OAuth protocol to do your authentication. And the update for this week is that you can now rotate these tokens. So basically it's very similar to changing your password once in a while. So when you go to the settings of the specific application, you can add a new token then reconfigure your integration to use this new token, disable the original token, verify whether or not the integration still works, and if it still works successfully, you can delete the old token. So the maximum number of tokens is actually two, so you have to do the rotation just like I showed you, because there's no possibility to add additional tokens if you already have two of them defined. And that concludes the overview for the updates for this week. Thanks for your time, have a great week and see you next time.